Good evening, good evening. It's great. You may just say good evening, good evening to you. Hello, everyone. I am going to be making salmon curry. Yes, I am. And I'm not... You know how normally I make salmon... I'm just putting those maracas down. You know how normally I make salmon curry in the Tupperware pressure cooker? Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of a twist. <laughs> how strange things happen. How you going on the twist? Have you ever... This is the Tupperware Ultra Pro that goes into the freezer, the microwave, the gas oven, the electric oven, the wood oven. It'll go into your Weber barbecue. So long as you can control the temperature up to 250 degrees Celsius or... It tells you on the bottom if you get stuck. <laughs> 250 degrees Celsius or 482 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it'll go into the freezer and it'll go into the oven. Uh, and it will have your cooking time. If you are doing something in the uh, oven that takes normally about an hour, what you do is you find how long it normally takes in the oven for, right? And then, let me take them off. You find out how long it normally goes into the oven for. You halve it. So you let, if it's an hour recipe, you're left with half an hour once you have it. A third of that time goes into the microwave and the remaining two thirds go into the oven. So if it's an hour long recipe, it's 10 minutes in the microwave, 20 minutes in the oven. If it's a two hour recipe, right? You have it, you're left with an hour. A third of that is 20 minutes in the microwave, 40 minutes in the other oven. So instead of your oven being on for two hours, it's only on for 40 minutes. If you're going to do a piece of meat, like a Sunday roast, you want to start it off into the microwave and then finish it off in the oven because you don't want your oven on for two hours. If it's a two kilo piece of meat, right? This is the general rule. Two kilo piece of meat, you pop it into the microwave for however heavy it is. So if it's a 2.2 kilo piece of meat, 22 minutes in the microwave, covered, because who likes to clean the microwave, right? Pull that out, pop it into the other oven for twice as long as what it was in the microwave for, so for 44 minutes. So your oven's on for 44 minutes instead of two, two and a half hours. Same thing with chickens. If you've got a size 18 chicken, that's 1.8 kilos. So breast side down, so the juices fall to the breast. If it's a size 18 chicken, it's 18 minutes in the microwave. You pull it out, you flip the bird, the breasts are up the top, you pop it into the other oven for twice as long as what it was in the microwave for. So if it's 18 minutes in the microwave, then it's 36 minutes in the other oven. So your oven's on for 36 minutes instead of for almost two hours, right? Oh my goodness, let me continue, right? So now what we're going to do is a salmon curry. And we're going to blitz up our vegetables. We're, we're, if you wanted to, you could cut them by hand in using the Tupperware Mastro cook, uh, knives, right? They're like a German stainless steel with an Asian influence, but it's all entirely chef-grade um, stainless steel, right? So you can use one of those, or you could use this product. You know what it's called. No need to ask. It's a smooth carburetor. It is a smooth carburetor. It is a smooth chopperator. First you cut and slice like a blender. It's handheld. I will have to do the um, extended version a little bit later. Let's chop up this onion. We are going to top and tail this, right? And I'm just going to pop that in half so it's easier. Did you know you can make your own onion powder out of onion skins? I have been saving them up. I was saving a whole bunch of them up, but then I, <laughs> I left an onion in there <laughs> and the whole thing needed to be discarded. So that might be a nice little activity we could do in the summertime when the weather is fine. Let's pull this out. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is... Oh, a bit more skin. There we go. Let's pop them into the scrap collector. Oh, there's a bit, little bit more there. Let's pop these blades straight into here. There are measurements up the side. I don't know if you can see this. Where are my glasses? So you've got your cut measurements, fluid ounces, turn it around, and you've got your millage up to 1,200 mil. And there is a fill line. Please respect the fill line. So if you're chopping potatoes or sweet potatoes or whatever, any hard root vegetable this will chop, this will do everything except chop ice, right? Just respect the fill line and um, you'll be fine, right? Respect the fill line, you'll be fine, right? Let's grab this onion. We're going to pop this into here. And we will also just remove some of this onion skin. Onion skin, textured like 
onion. Let's pop this into here. And there we go. So there's our onion. What we're going to do is pop the top on that. Let's move that out of the way. And this is where, have you heard me talk about this before? This is literally going to save you money on gym fees and it will save you time in the kitchen chopping up your veggies. Now, if you've got more than one person in your household, you might want to take it in turns and have a supersonic chopperator roster. <laughs> you did it last night. I want to go. No, I want to go. <laughs> There's enough veggies for everyone to have a go, right? So you just shake, 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 shake. And then you just literally pull the cord a few times and that will blitz up your onion. And look at that. Look at that blitzed onion, right? So what we're going to do is pop that straight into here. Let's grab a... It's silicon! Hallelujah, spatula of silicon! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pop this in here. And... Oh, that's quite a pungent onion, isn't it? Imagine doing that by hand. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I need a... Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, no more tears. All right. What we're going to do is, I've got this oil. It's an extra virgin olive oil. It's infused with ginger and lemongrass. We're going to do a little bit of that into there. And, oh my goodness, that onion. I Literally, <laughs> that never happens. Let's just <laughs> pop the top on that. Oh my. <laughs> the show must go on. All right. Now, in here, we have got... This is the spice carousel. It's almost like the magic roundabout, isn't it? <laughs> Zippity said, off to bed. Let's grab our spoon. We're going to throw in a little bit of cinnamon. We're going to make our own garam masala. So there's a cinnamon into there. We have got, oh, this is gorgeous. What's this? Cumin. This is a little bit of ground cumin. I love ground cumin. So we're going to throw in a decent teaspoon of that. And we will also, oh look, turmeric. That's gonna give it a beautiful yellow color. And turmeric has, oh my goodness, it's almost time to get some more turmeric. Turmeric has, let's just throw the, the, a little bit of that in. That has anti-cancer um, properties into there and it's great for your gut, right? So what we're gonna do is, let me just, I still can't see. All right, what are we doing? Okay, pepper and salt. Let's throw in a little bit of, black pepper into there and I've just got look I could probably use some sea salt or something I've got some Celtic sea salt into here let's just sprinkle some of that into there just that's going to help bring out that moisture and then what else have we got in here I do need my glasses hang on a minute what have we got into here did we throw in some cinnamon we've got oh look let's throw in a few mixed herbs why not and turmeric Mixed herbs. We got, oh, some sweet paprika. I quite like that. They shout it out. It's sweet. Paprika, paprika, paprika. Sweet, sweet. And then we just, see what I'm doing? We are just, actually, I'm throwing a little bit more of this oil. That's lemongrass and ginger infused olive oil. Because... Look at that. It's like our own little curry paste that we're making, right? So what you're going to do is let's just spread that around over here. We are going to pop that into the microwave. We're going to cover it because we don't want the splatter happening on the inside of our microwave because let's face it, everyone in the household uses the microwave, right? Who has to clean it? We do, right? So <laughs> I live alone. Well, that's okay. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll pop that in for... One minute. Now, while that's in there, this is, have you heard, heard me talk about this before? This is the Tupperware onion mate or onion keeper and the garlic mate or the garlic keeper. Now, when, if you're not using them for onions, you can grab a second one and you can pop apples in the cupboard for that as well, right? In here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Black pepper. Dun. Da -da 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 -dum. Black pepper. This is the garlic keeper. I keep that in with the garlic because then you don't have to run around the kitchen looking for the garlic press you just keep it into here and it keeps everything nice and ordered what we're going to do is i've just got some garlic here 
and we will. I tell you what, it's, it's all, we've got all the senses happening. I wish you could be here to smell this. It is absolutely divine. All right, so let's grab a couple of, oh my goodness, look at the size of these cloves. How terrific is this? Look at the size of these, right? So what we're going to do is this will crush our garlic. Let's trim the end bit off right first. See how these little, see you've got these little ribbed X areas in here. This here is going to pop this straight down here. We're going to pop the top off that. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, what a massive clove of garlic that is. Right, now that's popped the, top, the bottom of it. You just pop that into there and then that, can you see that there? That's going to crush it and it should, oh my goodness, and it's going to release that skin off there. This is a massive clove of garlic. Let me just, just say it, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that, oh, Oh, oh my goodness, I've got garlic everywhere now. <laughs> we are going to <laughs> pop this. I didn't realise this was going to be such a massive clove of garlic. Look, it's everywhere. It's all over the bench top. Okay, now what we're going to do is... That's been in there for one minute. Oh, look at the steam. Did you see the steam coming off that? We are going to... Oh, you should smell that. Oh, that that's good for what ails you, let me tell you. Let's do one clove of garlic. Let's, shall we do that again? Let's just remove that skin. Let me show you. We'll do it again. Because I'm going to throw in a, a second clove. Because I live alone. I can. So what we're going to do is just snip that off, right? Snip that off. Then we are going to, oh my goodness, these cloves. Ah, oh, look, I love the sound of that. It's like Tupperware Pete ASMR. <laughs> then all you have to do is... This is a, these are massive cloves. I'm loving this garlic. I'll have to go back there. Right. Then we will just peel that skin. See how easily that just comes off? Then all we have to do, we're going to pop that straight into there. Grab that. Pop that into there. How awesome is that? We'll just give that another little bit of a mix around. Oh, yum. That smells divine. Just, just saying. Right. That's what it looks like, right? It's just our own homemade curry paste. We're gonna cover that and we're gonna pop it on for another minute, right? Just let me wash my hands because I've got a bit of a garlicky, garlicky fingers. Right, now, what we're going to do now is, this is gonna go over here. So we'll pop them away and I'll show you that in just a minute. We'll show you this in just a minute. And in here, We've got, oh, actually, have you sh have I shown you these before? These are the Tupperware Vent Smart. These are the ones, I, I thought that was my tummy rumbling, but it's the microwave. <laughs> these are the ones that'll make your fruits and vegetables last three to five times longer than just sitting at the bottom of your fridge in your crisper, right? So basically, there is a trick. It's like Tupperware Pictionary, right? So what you do is, See the pictures on the front? You've got in it, or you've got the fruits down the bottom, you've got your vegetables up the top. Can you see here, for example, you've got your cauliflower and leek, lettuces, capsicum. See how the circle's half and half? And then you've got the circle fully closed in and you've got the circle fully opened. So that corresponds with the circles up on the top. So you just slide, this is like a little sliding vent hole happening here. And can you see, can you see this here? That just slides along there. Now this is, you will get condensation here, right? It's like a fridge within a fridge. And that's why they've got these deep footed channels on the bottom. That's where the condensation goes to drain. These carrots and celery have been in my fridge for almost two months. Like, and they're still crunchy. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. It's cauliflower will last for the same as cabbage, almost 10 weeks. Same with um, carrots, celery. It just extends the life of your um, fruit and veggies, right? So in here, I've got celery. And we're just going to... Um, oops, on the celery down, celery down! Let's just pop in a little bit of this, right? And we'll do our celery first. There we go. Like, you can't go wrong, right? It's... 
basically, if you want them, if you want it chopped really fine, you just pull the cord a few extra times, right? But if you just want a rough chop, just pull the cord a few times. Now, here we go. Let me show you. That's our celery. We do have a bit of our onion left in there, but that's fine. And then all you have to do is shake, shake, shake. And you throw on your favourite Spotify playlist and draw the curtain so the neighbours can't see. And you can get a cardiovascular workout happening in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> all right. Can you see that? There's your celery. Just a few pulls of the cord. Pop that over there. Let's pull this out here. And we've got... Oh, yum I Just show you what that looks like. That's just our curry paste that we've just cooked into there. Let's add some celery. And this is all the veggies that we're now going to add. We've got some celery. How delicious is this going to be? Right? We've got celery. Then what we've got is... Pop that over there. And we've got some carrot. Let's grab some carrot. Actually, you know what we will do? We will just chop the ends off these carrots. Normally I don't. However, these carrots are a little bit... Oh, carrot down! Carrot down! All right. Let's just quickly... <laughs> we'll just give this a bit of a wash. <laughs> Am I the only one... <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> Don't tell the visitors if they... <laughs> yes, the carrot did hit the ground, but that's okay. We'll just give it a bit of a wash. I never peel my carrot because all the nutrients are in the carrot. And there's no need to. Because watch. Now, this is... They're like roughly chopped carrots, right? Now, I want this... I mean, if I wanted to, I could chop these up and finely dice them and mess about with that. But this... It's just so much easier. That's five pulls of the cord, and that's a rough chop carrot. Now, if you want to, we do another five pulls of the cord, and that's probably what I'm looking for. A larger, like a, a rather larger sort of a dice. I'm just going to pop that straight into here. Then we will grab our spatula. I love to go a wandering along a mountain track And as I go I love to sing with an accent on my back Spatula, spatula We've got our spatula Then we've got some fresh tomatoes We've got our... See, you can get low ones of the vent smart You can get high ones of the vent smart Let's throw in five of these Gourmet Trust Tomatoes. A tomato will, uh, will ripen a lot quicker with the core down and on the windowsill. And then all we have to do is grab our Tupperware peeler. See the little, see the little eye? All you have to do is pop that eye into there. That removes the top of the tomato. So what's the wastage? You've got that much wastage. <laughs> How easy is that? We will just pop that in half. Pop that into there. And we'll just do that five times. We'll just remove that over there. There we go. And we'll pop that into there. Then we'll pop this over here. How cool is this? All right, and we will just grab this again. Pop that around. There we go. Can you see what I'm doing here? See how I've just removed the top of the tomato with the vegetable peeler? Because you don't want to be... You want to save all of that. Now, that's four tomatoes. Let's just see how we're doing here. Oh, hang on. Shake that up. And... Oh, hang on. <laughs> you're not... <laughs> you've got to smile when you're doing this, right? Now, there we go. <laughs> and I'm just going to blitz this... I mean, if you want to use a tin of diced tomatoes, go for it. But fresh is best... Oh, now, can we see? I might actually do that a little bit more. I want that quite pure, pureed and diced a little bit more. So what we'll do is... There we go. Delicious. Pop that upside down, Miss Jane, so that way all the mess goes into there instead of <laughs> all over the bench. <laughs> but can you see? There we go. How yum is this going to be? There we go. And then 
there's our tomato. We are going to also throw in a tin of, I've just got organic coconut milk. Now, when you use the Tupperware can opener, there's no sharp edges. Look at this. No sharp edges on here or on the, the rim of the can. And if you've got bin divers that, you know, dogs, kids, partners that, you know, where are the, where are the instructions for that recipe? Oh, I'll put them in the bin. They go diving into the bin. If you've got a Tupperware can opener that you've used to open all of the cans with, it's very safe. There'll be no nasty little accidents in your kitchen. So we grab our spatula, pop that into here, and we will... Yum. Oh, we've got that into there. I've made some homemade chicken stock in my Tupperware pressure cooker. I had a barbecue chook and the bones I just put in the pressure cooker with some herbs and spices and some water. And because the freezer containers on the bottom tell you how much it holds, this holds 450 mils. So that's about 400 mils of chicken stock that I've got in there. Frozen is fine. And then there's our um, coconut milk. Let me just wipe this down. And this is the double colander. In here, I've just had, I thought I had some fresh green beans. I've got a tin of green beans and a tin of chickpeas that I've just drained and rinsed. We're gonna throw them straight into there as well. And in here, this is the Tupperware silicon bags. These are brilliant. They go into the freezer, the microwave, the oven. You can pop them in the sous vide on the stovetop. You can pop them in the dishwasher or just a gentle hand wash, right? Because of the patented teeth on them, these are liquid tight. So if your meat's defrosting, you can pop that into there. You're not going to get juice flowing everywhere. It's going to stay on the inside here. If your meat's marinating, <laughs> meat marinator, it is a meat marinator. And the teeth, there we go. That just opens up. There's our kilo of salmon fillets, right? Now that, we'll just pop that over to there. We will grab our Tupperware scissors. And all I'm going to do is just open this up with the kitchen scissors. And I'm going to put the whole lot in there. They're still a little frozen, but that's going to be fine. So what we're going to do is grab this in here. We will mix that. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot frozen. That's okay. That's quite all right. What we're going to do is we will let that be. And you know what? Instead of popping this into the oven for an hour, Let's cover it so the splatter stays on the inside. This becomes an oven bag or a casserole pot or a, um, like a crock pot. But you're popping it into the microwave first and then into the oven. So instead of your oven being on for an hour, it's only going to be on for 20 minutes. So we are literally, just let me check, is that everything? <laughs> I think so. What we're going to do is we're going to pop this in. 10 minutes then we're going to pull it out we'll give it a stir i'm going to uncover it and pop it into the other oven for 20 minutes that's preheating right now and we'll have like a salmon curry done in half an hour that'll taste like it's been baked in the oven for the full 60 minutes how amazing is that now if you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. I'll take photos of this and just pop it over all the rest of my social media. Tupperware Pete, you can find me everywhere. Give me a like, a follow, or subscribe. Uh, if you've got any questions and you're watching this in somebody else's group or page, reach out to them or you can reach out to me. <laughs> reach out to me! Reach out to them! Make this world a better place! And if you've got any troubles, you know what you need to do? Forget your troubles and get happy, dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy, I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching everybody. Bye bye now.